the FRS BRZ was honestly one of my like childhood dream cars. Every day in high school in class, I would just be looking up pictures of this car, like the bone stock FRS, the bone stock BRZ. And I don't know, it's just something about it. The thing that drew me initially to this car right away was the way it looked. This was before I had the car. And after about five years of ownership now, the thing that kept me is the experience, is how fun it is without, you know, without necessarily breaking the speed limit. It's a slow car, but it makes that whole experience of getting from zero to 40 very fun. So from the front of my car to the end, uh, one of the, I guess the biggest thing that stands out are the new headlights. Uh, these are some kind of Val Valenti? No, these are some kind of VLAN ripoff. Uh, they're sold by the OLM, but same thing. Down at the bottom, at the bumper down here, I have a front lip. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive front lip. It scrapes all the time. Moving onwards, I have a lot of suspension work done to this car. So I've got Tyne coilers, Tyne Tain. I call it Tyne. <laughs> Tyne or Tain. I do. I have Tyne Flex Z coilovers, and uh, those are paired in the rear with a set of SBC control arms. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of suspension work because you know, I wanted to, I guess, make the part of this car that came already very like great. I wanted to make it even better, and that was the handling, that was the suspension. Moving on, I have an exhaust, of course, and you can't really be a car guy without an exhaust. Uh, I've also got headers under this car, and uh, you can't tell, but my car is actually running E85 only. Towards the end, just a few more cosmetics. I got tail lights, and I have this little reverse bar that I just recently installed. Just all, to, just all to make the car look a little bit more to the way I like it. For the future, man, I really, I really had a tough time debating how I wanted the car to look and what kind of power I wanted to be making and how I wanted to get there. So suspension wise, I'm pretty happy with the way it's set up. Uh, I probably am not gonna swap that out anytime. With the way the car looks, I'm actually, I actually have parts coming in from Japan in the next few months, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, Power-wise, so I've had this debate forever between JDL turbocharger <laughs> and an Edelbrock supercharger. And I recently drove a friend's supercharged car and man, that blew my mind. So now, I'm, I, I don't know man, the debate just got even harder for me. So <laughs> after driving it, you would think that it would get easier, but after driving a supercharged car, now it's like, is it really easy? I don't know, man. I want that one too. My goal power for this car is right around like 300 horsepower. Uh, not, not 300 crank horsepower. Right there would be perfect for me because I, I plan to keep this car stock body. Um, I'm not much of a fan of the wide body on this car. And I think that much power in a car that's super light and it's, doesn't have like the traction capabilities of a wide body car, I think that would be more. My name is Tyler and this has been my F for us. Uh, I want to thank Adrian so much for having me on his channel. Uh, we actually met the first time when I was shooting something for my own personal channel and we had a blast. So I had to come out here, do an awesome video with Adrian. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, thanks again, Adrian, for having me on your channel.